I'm like, hey, what's up? I have not listened to that song since I was literally 12 years old, I think. The best way that I take care of situations is by ignoring them. When I explain a book's synopsis to you guys, the thought always turns to my brain like, what are you reading? <sighs> I'm back. We're doing it again. We are so back. As I go sob in the corner. Don't even mess around with me. Okay, you clicked on today's video. You know what we're doing. We're reading for 24 hours straight. This one's a little bit different. What majority of this video may be a little unhinged, may be off the rails, if you will. Clear-minded destiny is gone. She's over there, she's gone. Don't even worry about her because she's not here. In, in turn, you get this. <laughs> Under caffeinated me. And you guys know how I do my 24 hour readathon. So for example, right now it is 7.38. Oh no, that's 17.38. <laughs> Okay. I'm like, hey, what's up? I have not listened to that song since I was literally 12 years old, I think. If we started at 7.40, I would go from 7.40 p.m. today to 7.40 p.m. tomorrow. Read for 24 hours straight and see how many books that we're going to read in that time frame. So that's what we're going to do today. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure you guys have seen these videos before. It's your favorite video to watch from me. Every time I'm like, yeah, I might do one of these. You guys are like, do it now. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, listen, we don't need to tussle over it. To prepare myself, what is the first book? What are we starting off with? And I actually, since it's getting dark outside, I actually think I want to spook myself a little bit because I actually want to plan out my caffeine intake. Stick with me, I know that those two don't really correlate. I wanna plan out my caffeine intake and I don't wanna overload on caffeine. So if I spook myself a little bit, and maybe can't sleep, then I'll be able to stay up through the night. I'm in an audiobook mood right now, and I wanna listen to a thriller on audiobooks. Okay guys, I'm gonna pop in really quick here because I want to say a thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Audible. You guys are gonna be seeing me listen to a different audiobook title, so I want to talk to you guys about them really quick because I use Audible all of the time in my day-to-day -day life. I literally have been using it while I'm on vacation in my spare time to sit here and listen to my favorite audiobook title, so I wanna tell you about my favorite way to listen to audiobooks. So in today's video, you guys are going to see me listen to two different thriller mystery audiobooks on Audible. So first of all, let me tell you all about Audible. As an Audible member, you are going to get one credit every month to pick any audiobook title of your choosing. And Audible has an expansive selection of a catalog, whether that's new releases, bestsellers, whatever you really are wanting to look and see, wellness, self-help, all the different types of genres that you would be looking for. The Audible app is also super user-friendly. I use it all the time when I am working out, when I'm sitting in my bed, when I am on the go in the car. It's very easy to navigate, which is always the most important because sometimes apps can be a little bit confusing, but Audible has it all figured out. Also, as a member, you would get full access to their growing selections of audiobooks, Audible originals, and podcasts. Now, as I said, you guys are going to see me listen to a few different mystery thriller audiobooks, so I want to talk to you guys about those really quick. I've recently been in my mystery thriller era with audiobooks. Books, I have just found since I'm such a tough critic when it comes to mysteries and thrillers I decided that listening to them would be the best thing for me So in this video you guys are going to see me listen to a few of them and audible is absolutely the best place to go for those Because they have an expansive selection with mysteries and thrillers You guys can look through all of their thrillers and they have so many of their different audiobooks They also have audible originals, which is very unique and cool and I really like and they have podcasts It's very easy to navigate They're even going to recommend you some that they think that align with your taste, which I really love. Personally, I had heard everybody talking about how listening to None of This Is True by Lisa Jewell was so good, and that's what got me on to listening to my mysteries and thrillers. And tell you guys some of the audiobooks that I have been listening to on Audible. I've been listening to Listen for the Lie. I've been listening to First Lie Wins, Just the Nicest Couple. And I have so many on my catalog as well. I have The Guest List, The Midnight Club, so many different genres, but those are my favorite mysteries and thrillers that I've been listening to. The best part is, is that if you guys want to try out Audible, new members can listen for free. You guys can just visit the link up here on the screen. I'm also gonna have everything down in the description for you guys, or you guys can text code DESTINY to 500-500 for a free trial of Audible. 
Audible, I would 100% recommend it because I absolutely love Audible to listen to my audiobooks. And I want to say thank you again so much to Audible for sponsoring today's video. Now you guys are going to watch me listen to some of my newest favorite mysteries and thrillers that I have been listening to. I've actually even done this before in past uh, 24 hour reading challenges where I started thrillers like late at night because I feel like that's just my only time that I actually like the atmosphere of reading a thriller. So I actually also have a physical copy of First Lie Wins. So I think it may go back and forth between the audiobook, but I'm going to start off with the audiobook and then I may go into reading this physically, but I've heard great things about this one. Let's pick up First Lie Wins and go with my over the ear headphones. Okay, I have 21 hours and 55 minutes left. I don't know if you guys can hear, but it is literally thunderstorming outside. The tornado sirens were going on not that long ago. They were going off. You did not want to be around me during that time. I'm on chapter 14 right now of First Light Wind. It's definitely more of like a kind of mystery suspense. It's not like super enthralling to me. I'm not like, ooh, what's going to happen next? It, I think it is because I thought that it was going to be like a thriller and it's more of that like kind of mystery suspense. But I think I'm going to try to read the physical portion of the book. I feel like I've, I'm probably, honestly, I've read about 30% of the book. So let's see if I put this in my Goodreads. Let's see if I'm right. Because sometimes I like eyeball it and I'm like, what if I'm right? Let's see on my Goodreads. Oh my gosh, I'm 37. So I mean almost 40, but I was I literally said 30% into the book. I think I have a skill for this. 30% in, I feel like I've put in some listening work for this. So I'm going to try to finish it. Twenty hours and 19 minutes left and just finished the first book wow just finished first light wins if you guys have watched these videos you guys know i do all of the like ratings and reviews at the end because they can change by the end of the month but i like to save them for the end so i have at least some time to think on them just giving a little snippet i did really really enjoy this i know my last update uh, i guess this is more of like a mystery and it is like kind of like a mystery suspense is what i would call it it's so funny because right after i filmed that clip and then i continued reading i literally could not put the book down because at first i was going to complain and say like oh we're getting like these different little snippets and it's just boring to me but then i started realizing that it all clicks into place and it is so mastermind i was just really going with the story i was trying to follow the threads and i really thought i had it but i didn't and i just love when that happens so it is 11 30 p.m take a look at that read them and weep after holding this i'm lazy first and foremost like i'm not ashamed i kind of just want to read on my kindle i have been up since 7 a.m this morning basically starting at 7 all the way up until 5 i already tried to film this video i do this for you guys they don't act like you don't know what's going on we're doing another one of these couldn't do it without you there's been so many times that i film these videos and then they are not a victory okay i'm looking on audible i think i'm gonna do tom lake are we starting it are we starting it Boom. This is one. Harper Collins and Harper Audio present Tom Lake. Literally because of the sole purpose that I'm lazy, you're sitting on my hard drive right now. Where's my bag? not loving it right now but very insufferable okay kindle store is currently unavailable i do have my phone let's go on my phone okay this is the book that we're reading right now like 
in my brain the pacing in which I was getting through things and just the way that the video was being filmed and the energy around the video. Ugh, no, no, this isn't good, this isn't good. Okay, we have to scrap it, I'll just start over tonight. So I'm saying that to say earlier, I had started trying to read one day, but this is, I just figured out, definitely not a book that I can just sit down and binge. Saying all of that to say earlier, I downloaded The Catch and I decided that I'll read that. It's a new release. It's uh, Amy Lee, is it Amy Lee or Amy Lee? I don't know. The Influencer series, it's basically like, about influencers but this one's like she goes to a small town and he's like a lobster fisherman I decided to read it because it the premise of it literally is it happened one summer it's like not the same exact but it's the same in that stance i really enjoyed it happened one summer it's like a four or above for me yeah, I'm gonna continue reading it. I think I'm literally like 10% through it right now. So I think I'm gonna pick this up. And then I think if I'm still in the mood for a romance after, I'm gonna try to read Swift and Saddled. Love the covers of those books. Oh my gosh, but that's the, that book just came out. And since we're getting into that, like it's pretty close to midnight and we're kind of getting into the wee hours of the morning and the just AMs where you just little discombobulated anyway that was really cringy you were just gonna need the no brain power reads so i'm going to continue on with the catch can you see just the light in my eyes is, it's gone <laughs> i fell asleep we're not gonna talk about it i'm gonna move past it the best way that i take care of situations is by ignoring them I think I got like 25% into the catch. I just saw this. It was saying recommended for you. It says just the nicest couple from the author of Local Woman Missing. I think I may listen to this one just because I think I really, I have been really liking listening to kind of like mysteries. Going to do this one. I'm going to head off the door now. I'm going to go to the gym, be in the car, and I'm going to listen to this one. Oh my God, this is a, tr I'm trying not to stress out about falling asleep. I need sleep. And I'm not stopping the timer because I guess we'll just see how much I can read in the 24 hour time span that I gave myself. I have nine hours and 41 minutes left. I am still listening to Just the Nicest Couple and I'm really, really enjoying it. It's like so good. Like the mystery of it. I haven't read a plot like it and I'm really liking listening to it. And I like the two point of views we're getting. It's kind of like opposite ends of it. It's just, it's good. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm being entertained. I just got back from the gym. What I'm actually about to do is I think I'm going to go over to Barnes because I want to get swift and saddled and I plan on taking like my headphones with me. Probably just like browsing around listening to my audiobook and then I'll probably sit down and read there. I'll listen to my audiobook while I do those things and hopefully maybe get some reading done. I just got this new tote bag from Erin Made. It's where my other tote bag is from that you guys ask about all the time. Some of my book sleeves, you know, wallet keys, all of that stuff. So let's go to bar. back from my little excursion a little time update seven hours and 43 minutes left still have only read one book but that's okay that's okay listen not that worried about it <laughs> the whole entire reason that i went to barnes just kind of like sit there and browse to look for i wanted swift and saddled which is the second book because the first book is done and dusted and i was going to go to the barns that was a little bit further because that's one that popped up and said they had it but then i checked my local barns my more local barns are both local barns and it said that they had it and they did not they did not i hate when that happens to me because I was like, I should just go to the further one. And then I didn't. And then they didn't have it here. But it's okay because I obviously found a way to buy books. First and foremost, I got the book that I'm listening to right now. Because I'm really enjoying it. I think that I personally, there's more room for me to like it. Because with thrillers, I feel like I'm so hypercritical of like plot twists and stuff. And mysteries. Kind of all the same thing. But with thrillers, it's like, was this even any thrilling? Whatever, you guys don't care. With this one, how I said earlier, there's two point of views in both of the point of views, I never, like, I'm like, oh, 
it's like if you're in one point of view you're rooting for that person you're not rooting for the other person like i don't know who to root for in the mysteries unraveling and I'm, it's kind of a little eerie kind of the backdrop and you kind of don't know to trust these characters like you just don't know what's happening and you are just kind of like on the edge of your seat wondering like what is going to unravel i decided to pick it up it was actually at the front like sitting on one of the tables so took that as a sign gonna have to take this sticker off. They, I feel like they've been making them easy to peel off, which hey, I appreciate. Since it was buy one get one 50 on like the other table, we had Nora Goes Off Script and I actually have the other author's book, which is same time next summer. The Influence of Bestie Haley. I bought Leanne Moriarty's Apples Never Fall. I've read Nine Perfect Strangers and I really like that. I read that like when I was in high school or just out of high school. And I always meant to pick up another Leanne Moriarty book, but I didn't. And then I saw Haley post about how like Peacock has a new show and she just read this book. Pe like the Peacock show that just came out. And if you guys know, say it with me. I have to read the book first. I have to be absolutely insufferable for my my family or anybody watching a TV movie with me for me to compare exactly what happened in the book to what happened in the show. I have to be insufferable. For right now, I want to pick up the physical copy of this book and start to reading. I think I'm pretty close to finishing it. I need to find the spot I'm in because it, this book does the thing where it's not chapter numbers. It just tells you when you're in a different point of view. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of work to find where I'm at. Seven hours and 39 minutes left. We are on the second-ish book. I'm honestly, it's a whirlwind for the past. This will be like the third day or so that I'm trying to film this. Actually, I don't know. How is this the third day? No, it's still only been two. Just ignore me. Well, I just finished the second book for today's video. We actually finished another book. Uh. Question is, what book do I want to pick up next? I have seven hours and eight minutes left of the challenge. I want to read Happily Never After by Lynn Painter. This is her new release. You guys know what's happening. Okay, I'm going to start this one with seven hours and seven minutes left. We're starting the third book, Lynn Painter's new release, Happily Never After. I have four hours and 58 minutes left. I just finished this book, so now we have finished three books. Every time I do the challenge and I'm like, yeah, if you could do the full 24 hours, I wonder how many books you could finish because we're literally gonna be going on to the fourth book for today's video. Anyway, I think I'm gonna try to read Swift and Saddled. Finally, I feel like I've been talking about the book this entire time that I just haven't been reading it. I love these covers. This doesn't show it very well, but I love those covers so much. I need to find that book. A Rebel Blue Ranch novel. That's what the series is called, Rebel Blue Ranch. You know, like you gave yourself a second to think about the stuff that you're reading about. When I explain a book's synopsis to you guys, the thought always turns to my brain like, what are you reading? What is going on? What is going on with this Kindle? They're not letting me read my book. Oi, has anybody seen my iPad? <laughs> oh, wait, okay, it's working now. Okay, slay. Chapter one. Two hours and 14 minutes and I just finished Swift and Saddled. Not sure how I feel about it. Not sure how I feel about it. Didn't love it. We don't have to get into all that right now. I don't know. I don't know what we can do. There are so many options of what we can do. So we have finished four books. I have multiple different options. One, I mean, we have expansive physical TBR. I also got Pineapple Street in paperback from Target because I had to stop by at Target. I kind of want to read this one. This is giving, this is on my spring TBR as well. I think I'm going to end it off with Pineapple Street. Two hours and 10 minutes left. The 24 hours is over. I didn't film the timer going off because I was eating dinner. Girls, girls could eat dinner. 
Oh god, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. 24 hours is done. Let's do an official talk about all of the books that I read. I listened to the Tom Lake audiobook yesterday and I actually ended up giving that book a four stars for a good minute. And I mean, for a good great while, I really thought to myself like, wow, this is about to be a five star. The story started, I was in it. I was like, wow, I love it so much. It just started really kind of like slowing down for me in parts that I feel like really didn't need to be like talked about so much. Essentially, Tom Lake is a story of this mother telling her daughters a story of her in her like 20s and how she kind of got into acting and dated a famous actor back when she was in her 20s and it's so, so much more than that though. Going into it, I'm just gonna say it's that there is so much more talked about in the story, theme in the story. It's so good. It's so much more than just like a mom telling the story and I really would recommend the audiobook. It's one of my favorite audiobooks that I've ever listened to, if not my favorite. Meryl Streep is the narrator and I really just, I loved it. I feel like maybe even she just made the experience 10 times better. And then I think after that, I went back and forth between a lot of books and then decided, you know what, I'll just start over and that's where this video technically started. In this video, Video. at the start of this video I picked up First Lie Wins and I listened to the audiobook and then finished reading it you guys saw you guys watched the video hey you guys watched the video you guys would know I decided to give this book a three and a half this really brought me down the rabbit hole of realizing how much I really do enjoy kind of like a mystery and seeing how that unraveled I really really liked how everything tied back I felt like I was going down this rabbit hole and I ended up giving it a three and a half stars because I really really enjoyed it I I was gonna give it a four but then I just kind of was like at some point so I was a little bored and I feel like things were dragging on but I really did appreciate how in the end like I feel like everything ties together and everything makes sense and you like feel satisfied almost and then I listened to the audiobook of just the nicest couple and again we have another mystery with since like what is it with me I have just been like voluntarily been in my thriller mystery era. I think I'm gonna land on a three stars with this one. I would recommend it. I think it's a good mystery. We definitely guessed like as we were going down, I was like, yeah, I know where this is going. But there were so many moments in this book where one, like you're going back and forth from point of views. You genuinely, like you don't know who to root for, but I think it started to kind of like, one, it was predictable for me. I literally guessed it kind of like from the beginning because if you look at stuff close enough sometimes, but I still really liked it. It had me very, very enthralled with the audiobook as I was listening. I was walking through Barnes, Target, like running errands, just like at the gym this morning. And I was like, wow, like, no, I feel like somebody's actually talking to me and like dishing out tea because it's told from the first point of view. This one I'm a little nervous to talk about. So then I read Happily Never After. <sighs> I'm just starting to wonder if Lynn Painter's adult romances don't hit as hard for me as her young adult ones do. It was fun. I will give it that. But I will say that I kind of, I didn't feel chemistry between the two of them at all. Purely physical. Constantly, they're just like bringing each other up in this like very physically attractive way. It never felt like I love you like as a person. And again, I think this just comes down to personal preference that that's definitely what I'm looking for in my romances. So I think that that's where we're lacking here. Then also both of them, the whole entire time it feels like continue to bring up and talk about their exes. And it's definitely one of those things where like if this was me, I would look at the other person I'd be like, listen, you have some things to work through. A book that I have continued to talk about throughout this video and then finally read is Swift and Saddled. I finished this earlier. This book reminds me so much of when I read Hopeless. In the fact that I mean, I absolutely loved the guy, made the book for me and really did not like the girl at all. Like the girl in this book, I just really, just even being in her point of view, some of the things that she does to not even just the guy, the guy, but also like the female side characters. And it explains her behavior, but it doesn't excuse it. Like it kind of just feels like we're, oh yeah, well this is just how I am. Like I'm just mean to people. And like, I love like, after coming back to this book, I realized how much I genuinely do enjoy the other characters. Like, even the main guy in this book. I love him. And all of the other characters, this girl was just not it for me. And she kind of ruined the entirety of the book for me. Because I feel like the guy just kept reaching out and reaching out and reaching out and trying and trying and trying. It just kind of felt weird to me. I don't know. I didn't love it. I didn't feel like the camera she was there. Again, it kind of felt the same 
way, uh, same exact way kind of Happily Never After made me feel, where it also just kind of felt more physical. I will say though, I did really love the guy and I do really, really like this series. I'm very excited for the next book. I do think I'm going to pick up the next book because again, it's not this author's writing or the author's fault, period. It's just more of like a personal conflict of interest within the characters for me. And then I picked up Pineapple Street, which I got like a little bit into, not far into at all because I mean, I think I had like a little bit over an hour. I'm going to be completely transparent with you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. It did not go as planned. From the start of yesterday morning, I started filming this video at 6 a.m. Ended up kind of bad and then I retried it. I hope you guys found enjoyment out of this video anyway and I hope you guys were entertained. I don't know if you got any recommendations from this video. If you got anything positive from this video, I have done my job because that's all I'm here for. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff that you guys know what to do. Thank you so much again to Audible for sponsoring today's video. That's absolutely crazy. I've used Audible for actual years. I've used them for years so I'm very, very happy about this guys and thank you guys for watching i love you guys I appreciate you guys none of this would be possible without you as always and i will see you guys when i see you peace